fact, I like Totos. Hey, baby, let's go, let's go. Hey, we got a new hood nature. Uh, is this the most disrespected animal in nature? God damn, man. Here we go, bro. Let's get right into it. Equality is a social construct. And the only reason I say that is because it seems like nature went out of its way to make certain animals everyone else is stressed with. Cheetahs get bodied by virtually every aspect of life. Seals get griefed by everything from seagulls to see Thanos. And good God, don't let the otters get a hold of them. And it's possible no zebra has ever died of old age. But one of the most consistently disrespected animals on the planet can be found in He's, he's going to talk about but the to game, understand man, just huh? how badly this thing got nerfed, we I can tell by the thumbnails. Crocodiles are one of the oldest and most <coughs> successful predators on the planet. And with a playbook up to 200 million years old, crocodilians have been living alive longer than Saturn's head rate. 200 million. And because the whole impersonate a log and then bite a zebra's face off strategy is pretty effective, the crocodilian family hasn't really changed in the hundreds of millions of years they've been around. They were able to make the most out of a niche that really opened up when most of What the fuck was that? The only problem is, when you're that oh, good for that long, bumps. eventually oh time will catch up. There's a hell of a slap from reality waiting for you when it does. <coughs> now, there's two types of crocodilians, and the average person can name at least two. You got the crocodile and the alligator pretty easy. And there's a lesser known gario, and the even less clouded false gario. And then you have the subject of this video, the caiman. After years of being part of a winning team, the caiman is now the lollipop of the Amazon. Because it seems like these days they gotta take licks from Damn, man. Unlike the Komodo dragon, which is a dominant apex predator of its neighborhood. Just being in the same area code as one is enough to raise a premium on your insurance. Look Health at those fucking life. things, Dragons bruh. are plated bench pressing weapons of mass destruction. Which also makes them the perfect Fuck fighting yeah. partner. Which is why Dragon oh. City is a free to play mobile game that lets you- That was- that was a smooth transition, but look at this motherfucker's arms, bruh. Holy shoot. That was a smooth transition, though. Skip through that though. Go play Dragon City if you wanna if you wanna own a dragon. Plus you get the Iceling Dragon. But if you're a Cayman, unless your starter pack has a pistol, it ain't gonna help you at all. One of the biggest reasons is because Jaguars exist. You know what Jaguars are? They're Feels weird. Picking it up. They're a 210 pound equalizer. Basically, the devs got tired of people complaining about campers like the Cayman and dropped an animal whose name literally means he who kills with one leap. Jaguars are one thing, it's a Cayman's paralysis. Look at that motherfucker, bro. Built like leopards on steroids. Leopards are already pretty ridiculous. Yeah, leopards and pound are for pound, badass, Jaguars bro. have by far the most unforgiving Leopards and Jaguars are my favorite game. cats. But the one thing that makes them different from any other big cat and a Cayman's worst nightmare is that Jaguars go straight for the head. Jaguars factory reset their prey by driving their teeth through the skull and sometimes into the brain. If that doesn't evict their soul immediately, it definitely puts them out of commission. Not only are Jaguars the only big cats that do this, it just so happens to be a Cayman's weak point. Also, really not a stretch to say, Jaguars evolved specifically to humble the Cayman. If you're a Cayman, water is supposed to be your home base, yet Jaguars will go into the Cayman's home court, end their life with a hole punch to the head, and then drag them out by only their teeth. It's one of the worst ways to see God. Jesus it's Christ! like every Jaguar alive saw this oh! game and decided they had just about enough of their sh**. That cheetah like just got back at fucked! Bully by projecting every bit of abuse onto their little brother. But that leaves a question. Would you rather get one shot into oblivion, or be sentenced to death by a thousand paper cuts? If you pick the second, there's a gang of otters that might just change your mind. Giant river otters, one of the tankiest mustelids growing up to six feet in length. It's aquatic honey badgers long enough to not have to lie on tinder. They also live in groups of up to 20 individuals and are yeah, highly territorial. One, so much so that they'll attack anything that gets to Bro, look at that, just yes, going one on one! I do mean anything. One on one, bro. Jumped, especially if there are otter pups near <coughs> River otters will surround the threatening reptile and assault it from all directions, especially with bites aimed directly to the head. There's a theme here. And since caiman are cold-blooded and run out of steam faster, especially out of water, these water wolverines only have to harass a discount crocodile into fatigue before they literally tear it apart. Jesus all that Christ. this sound. Bro, that's not the scariest shit. And a common tactic is by some of the stronger otters holding the caiman down while the others get their licks in. How many licks to get to the center? Caiman will never know. He passes tents well before that. And sometimes yeah. once the caiman is no longer a threat, it gets eaten alive. The caiman doesn't even have to strike first to earn a past tense penalty. Just wandering into the wrong neighborhood can get it turned into a handbag. And if that death wasn't dishonorable enough, young caiman after Euro stepped the very real possibility of getting hugged to a flatline by literally the biggest snake on the planet, the anaconda. The green anaconda can grow into Look at that motherfucker! Long, and some have maxed out at over 500 pounds. If you're not allergic to the metric system, that's 6 meters, 227 kilograms. As constrictors, that's anaconda squeeze their prey into a pack with what is that guy doing? coming after suffocation or a crushed lung. 
now add the fact that some snakes can have up to 15,000 muscles and you see how a caiman can get put in a coffin. Not only does the caiman get choked out, there's a very real chance it drowns while struggling. Anaconda is even powerful enough to squeeze with enough pressure to induce cardiac arrest. And that's before the prey gets swallowed whole. And because that apparently just wasn't enough, the caiman also has to worry about the possibility of being cooked alive by an eel. Just a little side note, any kind of crazy an animal uses electricity as a weapon, we all just accept yeah. that in fact of life. Yeah, that's Electric fucking Electric eels aren't insane. even true eels, in fact they're actually close that's to catfish. That's so true, what the fuck? Bro, I actually thought it was a catfish when you first pulled out that picture, but that's so fucking true. They literally just use, they, they, got, they literally just use electricity, they just spawn it, bro, like Being hello? alive by an eel. Imagine a side note. Uh, kind of crazy electric fender, bro. Hello. As a weapon, we all just accept that as a fact of life. Electric bro, eels what aren't the even fuck? true eels. In fact, they're actually closer that's to cats. That's insane, actually. As for the electric part, yeah, that's pretty on brand. Some electric eels can generate over 800 volts of violence, and with How? electricity, it's usually the current, not the voltage, that decides whether you live or fry. Some electric eels can produce up to 0.83 amperes of current. And in experiments, eels were found to produce up to 8.5 times more electric current than what you would get from a police taser. Meaning if the ops throw an eel at your chest, you could be trending on Twitter as a hashtag before you even hit the ground. And that's how a cosplaying catfish can microwave a cane. Those shocks are strong enough to force a caiman's heart into retirement. Alternatively, it can cause the muscles of spasm which would immobilize the caiman. If that happens in the water, the eel could earn a stage fatality as a caiman drowns. Crocodilians are known for being able to hold their breath for up to an hour, but if a caiman gets KO'd by an eel and its muscles are all out of order, then it's pretty much curtains for all. This is actually Damn, happening to some bro. people. Eel-related obituaries are incredibly rare, but when they happen, the cause usually isn't electricity, but usually a result of the victim drowning in shallow water afterward. It's not even safe to go after one that's dead, because electric eels can ruin your quality of life 8 to 9 oh, hours after they've already doggo. ended theirs. As rough as life can be for a caiman, it's only up, infinitely bro. worse once they're first born. When they first come out the egg, baby caiman are just easy bodies for birds of prey like herons and raptors who will snap them up with zero hesitation. Opportunists <laughs> like the wild pig or the cousin of the raccoon, the koati, will so also fun. snap on any unaccompanied minors they find. They got Even such a short end of the stick. Even supervised caiman eggs into free calories. Can you imagine that? Being born into a family that competed with dinosaurs only to get spawn sniped by a rodent or an apex predator, the caiman doesn't seem to be safe from anything. Not even from other caiman. When times are rough, caiman have been known to friendly fire their own kind and eat smaller juvenile caiman. The black caiman will often specifically target the smaller spectacled caiman. And it's especially during dry season that young caiman are most likely to get caught up with the cannibal. But we do have to be fair. If the black caiman can survive the Dude, what can that mean, motherfucker? One thousand pounds and some even max out at two. Look at too that big mean for a jaguar, too dangerous for bro. a pack of otters, and too tanky for an anaconda to swallow. In fact, fully grown black caiman can potentially take out any of the three. And at this point, you would think the caiman can finally catch a break that isn't coming from its own skull. Hell, no. Because in a cruel middle finger from fate, once a caiman becomes too big for those predators, it becomes a possible target for the worst predator of them all. Black caiman have been hunted by humans for their meat and for their leather. And on some occasions, they've been hunted just for the sport. If you pay Jesus. close attention to this video, you'll notice it actually wasn't the jaguar that clapped the caiman. It was poachers, and you can tell by the doc tail. And while the black caiman community has gotten a chance to recover in the last few decades, they still occasionally get robbed for their meat and skin by locals. Bro, that's Not only all that, but thanks to habitat destruction and deforestation, what the black the caiman's hunting is rates that? have receded more than a middle what is that? Line. And without restitution or rogue game, the more we continue to gentrify the caiman's home, the more news articles are going to be written of them trying to turn people into prey. Which only screws oh the caiman's Oh my so fucking god! To justify slaughtering them on sight. Basically, someone breaks into your house, you defend yourself, and then the police come in and knock down your entire family tree. The caiman is a definition of not being able to Bro, buy Bro, holy them. shit. When they're small or just small enough, they get griefed by the entire jungle senses, sometimes by their own kind. When they finally grow big enough to have no natural predators, they then earn the attention of the worst one of all. Even butterflies take advantage of caiman. You will not <laughs> find another apex predator that gets violated this late. Crocodiles gotta dream. deal with hippos. Some alligators have to live in Florida. But almost anything with a heartbeat in South America has the ability to end a caiman's way of life at some point. And when they are finally granted access to the afterlife, it's usually only after paying a toll in degradation and desecration. Because at the end of the day, this might be a caiman, but he's not okay, man. And that's gonna do it for this video. Shorter one, but still a lot of fun to make. Again, Dude, I wanna thank you for though. sponsoring this video. If you would like to sponsor this content. Damn, man. That was a good ass fucking video, though. Holy shit. That came and attacking that person at the end though. Oh my god, that fuck, that had me on the edge of my seat. Holy shit, god damn man. Woo.
God damn. Hey, another banger. Make sure to go subscribe to uh, Casual Geographic, too, yeah? God damn, man. God damn, God damn.